on guys welcome back to another scrap and irish video and as you've seen in my well i don't know which when this video will be out if it ever will be out but um you would have seen i had done the fish challenge that ian matthews had set and you've probably seen part one and part two and you've seen that it was a bit of a disaster in part two the things went drastically wrong but i've been looking at it and as you can see that's it there at the moment so you can See the scenery that I had, I had my fish and I had my bit of thing, but it's gone all marbly and it's um, not polished off and there's a few cracks and stuff like that. But I reckon with a lot of sanding and buffing and polishing and going on, I might be able to salvage something from this. So to make it some sort of a finished product. I know it'll be too late for the challenge when you see this video or whatever, but I'd like to see if I'm able to do anything with it. You can see there the marbling effect on it. Um, if I turn it maybe on its side, you can see that it's also bowed and twisted. But um, I reckon I could do something with this. So it's a nice sunny day today here in Ireland. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and I'm going to start sanding this down. I'm going to sand it down, start off with rough 80 grit sandpaper to try and get it smooth. Get rid of all the imperfection on the surface. Then we'll go from 80 grit to 120, and 120 to 500, 500 to 1000, 1000 to 2000, and we'll see where we are when we've sanded the final of the 2000, and we'll see do I need to get finer sandpaper um, and stuff like that, and I also hope to do a little feature on it. Um, so this will be a bonus video if it comes out, if this turns out to be half decent, um, I'll put it out as a bonus video at some stage um so in matthews if you're watching just because things go wrong doesn't always mean i give up um yeah you can see actually there with the light shining on it how marbly and dull it is um so it's going to take a lot of a lot of sanding so um as you see i did get it out of the frame except for the bottom part kind of stuck to that i could get it off if i wanted but i said this may work as a little stand because I know that it's perfectly flat it'll hold it in place you can't see this because I'm down here at the table but it's sitting on a table and um, it's completely staying in position so I might just leave that frame on it and maybe get some uh, finishing timber on it or something like an oak finish or something and leave it as a feature maybe I don't know not, I haven't decided on that part but um, yeah so Let's go and do some sanding, guys, and we'll see how we get on. Hold on to hope, don't let go. Don't give up this rest for your weary soul. And time to heal, yet still you fight. But you're told And hold on to your scars and wounds And pass a fall And I said, ooh, ooh, what would you do If you could lose all your burdens, yeah
Okay, now that I have sanded it, this is what I'm left with and it's time to clean it up with a bit of acetone just to um, clean off the dust from the sanding and the acetone will dry off pretty quick so it'll just give it that little bit of a clean so just to clean it off to make sure there's no more bits of sandpaper grit or grit dust from the fiberglass itself okay so we have that done i'm just going to give it a quick dry off with a little bit of a microfiber cloth so the next part is i'm going to use some um rubbing compound so this will be used you'd see this in for uh, people use it on their cars or whatever to just take out scratches and stuff out of the car so I'm going to just put a, a little bit of that just to try and get the shine up so you can see how dull it is there now after everything is dried up so we're going to do that so again when I'm doing this it'll just fast forward for you Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let that um, dry till it's gone a cloudy colour again and then we'll buff that off and then we'll be ready to go to the next stage which I will be hopefully bringing up a shine on it so I'll be using something like this because again I don't have the proper polishing compound for epoxy resin but I think this will do it's for again just for doing cars 
So um, hopefully that will bring it up from the dull colour to a nice shine. So let's get on to when this is dried and um, we're about to buff that off and we'll see how we are. Okay, so after that had uh, dried, this is what we're left with. We're left like a, a uh, cloudy sort of finish to it. So it's just a matter of buffing that off. So again, we'll just put this into fast forward. It's not so good right now. Okay guys, so um, we have buffed that off completely and um, got it ready for the polishing set thing. So it is a bit clearer, but still not shiny enough for what I want. Um, so we, we're on to our next pad, which is this one. And we're just going to try out some of this polish on it and hopefully it'll work. Put a little blob there and a little blob there. So again, let's just work it in in circular motions. So again, we'll speed it up. So again we let that um, dry until it's a haze and then we'll buff it out again and we'll see will it have made much of a difference to the shine and the clarity of it. Hopefully it will. Um, so guys, um, it'll be instant for you but I'll have to let this dry for a while so we'll come back once that's ready. Okay so that has um, dried in, you can see it's like still a foggy sort of finish to it so it's time to buff it out so again enjoy the fast forward why don't you leave it all behind and come back home i'll make some sweets and tea just like it used to be Okay guys, so we have it uh, buffed out there, so it's not looking too bad now. Got a nice little bit of a shine to it. Uh, a few little scratches again, so I'm going to probably recompound it, just to um, 
get that but I'll do that off camera I'm going to give it another compounding and then do it again um, I also plan on um, I'm going to cut out a groove here and sand this down as well so you'll see me cutting out along here I just want to cut a groove for a reason you'll see later um, so we're going to grind out a, a groove about maybe two centimeters wide uh, not probably less actually about 10 centimeters wide uh, not 10 centimeters 10 millimeters wide one centimeter and um, just a groove along here that I'll use the multi tool to do so again I'll be speeding that up and um, I need to do the back again the same way as I did the front so we'll be uh, sanding and um, paper sand, using sandpaper and stuff to give it so that we have a more transparent blue but we're getting there and so the next stage you'll see we'll be cutting out that so we'll move on to that because I say I can do all that um, compounding and stuff again off screen you don't need to see me doing that because you know about what, what, what I'm doing so let's move on to the next part back to the end of the video and I'm sure most of you are saying oh thank god for that but anyhow so here's the big reveal but before I do that uh, something quick is um, I'd like to congratulate everyone else that got involved in this challenge that Ian Matthews and a few of his buddies had set it was a bit of fun I didn't really want to do it at the start and but it, it was a bit of fun and I enjoyed it thoroughly towards the end of it it was good fun and um, I have a finished product I know it's too late it's a it's a week or two too late but for the thing and that but I just it took me a bit longer to get it done than um, what I planned but so um here it is guys da, 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 da. oh here's the big reveal no I'm not going to reveal it I'm gonna save it for my Monday night live coming this Monday. I know I've missed the last two Mondays because I had stuff I needed to get done and appointments that I couldn't get out of. But I will be live on Monday night at uh, 9 p.m. GMT time, which for UK and Ireland is 9 p.m. And I think it'll be uh, five hours ahead of that for you for on the eastern side of America. So Eastern time, it should be um, 4 p.m. So if you haven't checked out my lives before, please drop in, it's only an hour long. And um, hopefully we can like, get a few of the other fish challenge people. So if you're watching this fish challenge people and you're coming into my live and you want to come up on the panel to show off your, your fish as well, that you might have seen it on the Ian Matthews live. Uh, some of the other people like Ralph Morix and Everyday Sollers and um, 
Ian Matthews himself and um, Everything Metal, I think it is, and All Handmade and Huey and uh scrapman dan and oh there's just a list of people who've done this challenge so the reveal will be done on the monday night live and there is a little surprise on this that i done that you didn't see in the video so if you want to see how it did turn out um check it out monday night guys so thanks for watching hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe if you're not a subscriber all my videos aren't like this um if you just stumbled across it it's mainly e-waste videos i do but this challenge just caught my imagination i thought i'd get involved in it so um see you on the next one guys and um keep looking for that gold